Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Samika Knight. We want to begin with the breaking news story. In fact, a major news story making national headlines that has happened right here in the Houston area. Uh, it is the story of the investigation of a missing woman uh, and her one month old baby. That woman's body found here in Houston. That one month old baby found alive. We want to get right to you, reporter uh, Bree Berry. You've been working on this story. Major developments, including the suspect in court right now. Right. And Samika, we want to toss to that video right now if we can. This is a live feed right now of PC Court. This is happening at this very moment. So this is even more breaking in a story that is already shocking so many around the nation. What we are looking at in the red sweater on the top right corner of your screen, that there is the suspect charged in all of this. Megan Fieramuska is charged with kidnapping and tampering with evidence. Authorities say she is connected to this kidnapping of the Austin and the murder of the Austin mother, Heidi Broussard, who's been missing for over a week and one day, including her three-week-old newborn. And we know that we have, it's been confirmed by authorities that uh, Megan is a friend of that missing mother, Heidi. Now, the extent of that friendship, we're still working to learn, but authorities have confirmed the two knew each other. Of course, as Samika just said, the only fortunate element of the story so far is that baby was found alive. And they have not yet confirmed if that baby is is Bruce Art's baby, but of course, a lot of speculation happening right now. As we wait for more details to come out in this case, we did speak with CEO of the Texas Center for the Missing. She's also the director of the regional Houston area Amber Alert System, and she said there are very distinct elements of this case compared to past infant abduction cases. There is a term for it, and in those, the mother is always the most in danger. Beth Albertson says statistics in past cases show us most abduction cases of an adult and of an infant by a stranger are incredibly rare, less than 1%. She said history also shows us it's almost unheard of that a mother would leave willingly with only one child. She said from what we know about Heidi Broussard's case and her newborn, it follows what's known to law enforcement as an infant abduction or what's called baby replacement. The only types of abduction that are typically done by women. Sometimes a female either loses a baby to miscarriage or to death or something and then tries to replace that infant with another very young infant that she can uh, pass off on as her own. Uh, and that's an unfortunate scenario and, the, and it's a time at which the mother is most at risk. So talking with Beth Alberts, you see she's talking about, about a lot of strange elements of this case that seem to align with what is happening here that we've learned in this case today. And again, this is a live feed of PC Court here in Houston where we are watching in the red sweatshirt with her head down there in the back on the top right of your screen. That is the suspect who is suspected in this entire developing situation. We know now a friend of Heidi Broussard, that mother who is missing and her body discovered here in Houston in the trunk of the car mm. that is registered to Megan Fieramuska, that mm. woman we are seeing in court. So a lot of elements that are interesting about this infant replacement, um, you know, and it's heartbreaking to think and, you know, something that she told me is as rare as this is, it is always someone that the mother knows. It is always someone who was yeah. typically a part of the pregnancy who followed the, the mother and, um, you know, decided to, yeah. it seems at all costs, take that baby. It's just such a sad story. I tell you what, it's very interesting that we were here in the newsroom right. when the PC court uh, happened, when mm -hmm. she appeared in PC court. We were there watching as she stood up. It was very interesting to watch her, too. Mm -hmm. uh, there were times when she actually decided to talk to someone next to her. We saw right. her even flash a smile at the she person did. next to her. We don't know what she was talking about, but she looked over to the right, that woman sitting next to her, yeah. and they kind of laughed and said something together. Very but serious then the rest of the here. time, her key keeping her head down yeah. and not looking up. So you got to wonder. Yeah, so many questions here. So many people uh, very uh, involved in this story. And, mm -hmm. and the good news here is that the one-month-old baby yes. is still alive. So many details still coming out. Of course, we'll keep you posted at abc13.com as well as our ABC 13 news app. All right, thanks so much, Bree. Of course. All right, well, we are checking on the forecast now. Uh, we are five days out until Christmas, so we're checking on this uh, forecast, wondering how things will look today and as we lead in uh, to the holidays. Hey there. 
there. Hey. Rachel, how are you? Good, how are you? I mean, yes, today starting off kind of on a, it's been dreary out there today and those overcast skies are expected to continue throughout the day, which means our temperatures really won't rise much. So our high temperatures today, most of us will say in the 50s, a few of us could rise up into the low 60s, but it's gonna be one of those days where you're going to wanna keep that jacket handy. And not just the jacket, also make sure you keep the umbrella because we also have a chance to see some of these scattered showers, especially heading into the, I would say the evening hours and into Saturday morning. So don't just keep the umbrella around today. Keep it around as we head into the start of your weekend. So you can see this is Saturday at 2 a.m. Looking at all of that rainfall there. And most of these should just be general showers. So just some light to moderate rain, although an isolated storm or two cannot be ruled out. But again, most of these showers. Then as we head into the day on Saturday, this is at 11 a.m. Still looking at that rain chance, and it looks like it could continue into the afternoon and early evening. But good news is Sunday we will start to clear on out. So it will actually end up being nice as we head into Sunday. And if you are planning on traveling, that rain chance could affect some of us as we head into Saturday. But then as we head into Sunday, the entire state of Texas looking fantastic. Back to y'all. All right, Rachel, thank you so much. And as Rachel mentioned, we are just five days away from Christmas. Can you believe it? Here at ABC 13, we are celebrating in style. Check out sweater. my sweater. And uh, Jerry is also rocking his. If you could see it underneath his little get up there, a little suit and tie. I'm just loving it. Oh, snap. <laughs> Get it? Ha ha, oh snap. And then it's missing like a little piece of, Boo. I kind of, I, I bet it. You know, you can never just leave the gingerbread there. All right, well, we're going to get to some other people all dressed up in the newsroom as well coming up on the midday. But first, we still want to hook you up with some deals in case you're looking for those last minute Christmas presents. So today's digital deal of the day, you can get a family tent that sleeps up to 10 people. This is incredible. Originally 129 bucks. Right now, you can get it for just $75. And you can find the deal on our ABC 13 mobile app. I also have the link shared for you on my social media pages. All right, so five days away from Christmas, this would be an absolute Christmas miracle. $100,000 worth of gold and silver coins are still up for grabs right here in Houston. It is called the Gold Hunt. We told you about this at the beginning of the month. Now, all you have to do is solve 21 riddles. These riddles are puns, streets, historical locations, and pop culture references right here in Houston. Now, the maps will cost you $29, or you can upgrade to a $49 map for extra Close. Okay, you can play alone or you can make a team, but you must be at least 18 years or older. Now get this guys, I spoke with the Montgomery residents Gina Brown and Tom Walder about their experience so far. Take a listen. You're very familiar with the north and the west side of Houston, but coming over here towards the south and downtown Houston, um, it is an adventure. The experience for the gold hunt here has uh, been incredible. Uh, to get out and hunt real live treasure has been amazing. Uh, when I was a little kid, I always wanted to get out and hunt treasure, you know, and here I truly am doing that. It's been like, uh, like one of those bucket list things checked off. Awesome, awesome, awesome. They are having a grand old time. Their daughters were actually already on Christmas break, so they're out treasure hunting with their parents right now. This is an awesome opportunity for you and your family to get out and about and explore Houston. So get this, you can sign up for Gold Hunt right now at goldhunt.com, and there will be a bonus clue for the final riddle happening tomorrow and Sunday from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. at ah, A-H-H-H, -H -H, like ah, Coffee <laughs> located at 2018 Rush Street A. What is that, a bar or something? It's, or? I believe, a coffee uh, shop. Okay. Ah, coffee! Okay. That's, I'm assuming, how they would want someone to advertise them. Okay, <laughs> anywho, uh, moving on to today's local-ish piece. There's a twist on the story of the Nutcracker, you guys. It is called Urban Nutcracker, an update on the holiday classic, of course. It celebrates diversity and dance, and we're not just talking tap and jazz and not just ballet. And it's beautifully staged with over 100 Houston-area dancers, actors, and musicians. Thanks to our generation and previous generations, I think we've knocked down a lot of doors to help these young people to witness the beauty and the culture that exists here. It's honestly a dream in the works. 
because my goal as a professional dancer is to bring more representation for brown ballerinas and brown aspiring ballerinas like me. And I just feel like the Houston Urban Nutcracker just really does an amazing job of showing that diversity and showing that, hey, everyone can dance. Everyone can be a ballerina, no matter what you look like, no matter what the color of your skin is. All right, guys, so the final performances are happening this weekend. Tickets for Sunday night show at the Stafford Center are still available. And for more information on this, you can head to abc13.com slash localish. Well, as I mentioned, the midday, we are celebrating Christmas with our special holiday cheer. And look at some of the people <laughs> I was able to round up out of our newsroom. Take a look at the photo. We had several people participating here at ABC 13 this morning. How about that? It was a friendly competition of who had the best ugly sweater and can you guess who that might have been like come back to us live like okay everyone looks spectacular let me just first start out by saying that Lawanda she does all of our editing and the, all kinds of stuff for us oh, behind the scenes <laughs> and this is nowhere near ugly as Jerry just said you look absolutely adorable Oh snap! I'm trying to do the dance. Like, who who does that? Oh snap! <laughs> who does that dance? Okay. Anyways, Brandon, Brandon, tell us a little bit about yourself and what you're doing here at so, ABC 13. Uh, actually, I came to ABC 13 four years ago. I uh, started in the digital department. I'm now director of community engagement, and today I'm also portraying the Grinch. So, where'd you get the sweater? Uh, actually, at Target a okay. year Ooh. ago. It's been in my closet. I was waiting to break it out at the most perfect time and I was like today it's now or never okay so we like to call Brandon Mr. Disney as well so he was also our winner today for our competition so yes. good job Thank and you. last but not least tell us about yes, yourself I'm Sarah I'm a digital producer um, I love Nightmare Before Christmas it matches my shoes too. oh get the shoes get the shoes Jerry oh. <laughs> it's a full it. package wow. okay but wait yeah. I don't think we saw that during the competition yeah it wasn't taken into account oh, <laughs> oh shut up <laughs> All right, guys. Well, again, thank you so much for joining us on the midday. Five days away from Christmas. You're probably celebrating this weekend. Be safe, have fun, and we'll see you next time. Bye.